Welcome to another episode of Discover Harmony Florida. I'm Kristen McCary and I'm here with your host. Janine Corcoran, broker for the Corcoran Connection Real Estate Company. And so, you know, everybody needs a little bit of good news. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world, but we need some good news. And so we had this idea um, for a long time. You would do interviews with um, Harmony Resident families. Mm -hmm. And one of the questions we always asked was, do you have a good Harmony story? And so we thought, you know what, what a great time to like remind everybody how much you know, we love Harmony and how awesome Harmony is and share some of those stories that these people um, brought up. So do you want to take it away? Sure. So it was funny because when Chris and I were talking about this, I went ahead and put out a post on our Harmony resident forum and asked, you know, can you give us a good story that happened? So we got a, a few stories there, which was great. But then Chris and I mentioned that was one of the questions we always asked in the video. So that was wonderful to go back and watch some of those videos and look at some of the stories that were on there. So w some of them come from current right now, people who just said, you know, let us know the story. And mm -hmm. then also we have ones that um, from, our, from our videos, which is uh, My Harmony Florida was the mm -hmm. video tag and um so yeah so we have some good ones so uh, one of them and you actually have men actually you should tell this one because it's a sun drop one <laughs> okay i do remember this one and 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 was i correct on who whose it was it, it, it is okay yep. awesome. and I'm, i think they'd be fine with okay so the moina the family and and i love them dearly uh laura is an extremely talented artist gypsy waves is her uh, studio name she does really cool um art here her that's her um <laughs> Thank one you, of Laura. her arts there <laughs> um and so she's absolutely amazing and they actually I, I laugh because they've done the harmony shuffle now they i think they're in the third house here yeah um but anyway so when we interviewed them um on sundrop they actually said um when they first moved in one of their first experiences here was that they received an invitation in the mailbox for a block party that was put on by two neighbors and because it was all new homes everybody was new in the yep. area um, and looking for a friend. So they were able to meet like 20 different neighbors and they formed these lifelong relationships. And, Absolutely. you know, yeah. I would say that they're still going strong today. So that's a really cool experience, especially when you're newer in a community to kind of feel involved that way and, and everybody gets to start out. So mm -hmm. I love that one. The next story was from um, uh, Cheryl and Mike Galinas, and they had a family out of state that had a really bad fire. And so the story that they told on the video was that the, the family had lost everything. So Cheryl, um, they also had a little baby. So they reach out to the Harmony community and she said, you could not believe the items that showed up on their front porch from the Harmony community willing to help. And she just said, it's such a wonderful thing. If you need any anyone to help you, they're always there. When my friends were in need, our community really stepped up. So that was a kind of neat story too. Yeah. God, I love that. That's, a, that's probably one of my favorite things about Harmony in general is that like people aren't afraid to step up and help. You know, if you post, hey guys, I need X, Y, Z, you're not going to get a bunch of, oh, what do you need that? You know what I mean? It's yeah. very like supportive. You probably have 10 of those items on your doorstep by the afternoon. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I I've had, I've had where, you know, our dog busted part of our fence and, and literally like our neighbor would be down fixing it. You know, right. we've had, I think I have three different neighbors fix our fence, right. <laughs> you know, which is being replaced, by the way, because we've had enough of our fence right. uh, falling apart. But anyway, yeah, so just so quick to be no problem right there. One neighbor even came, um, Tim, and, and fixed it, and I didn't even realize that he fixed it and you right. know, stuff like that. So, and, and sometimes, like, if you just post things, it's, they, they'll just go do it. Right. And you don't even know. Absolutely. And it's, it's so funny. So this isn't, this isn't part of the plan at all, but I have to tell you a really good harmony story that happened to me last night. Oh, wow. And this, is, this is an I immediate know. harmony story. And I want to hear about I haven't it. Even, I haven't even gotten to the forum to brag about it, but last night I'm sitting there and I'm prepping dinner for tonight. And um, somebody comes to the doorbell and rings the doorbell. And I'm who like, who does that? Who preps dinner the night before? Okay, well, it has to marinate, so. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, really? <laughs> you sound like Susie Homemaker. I'm like, <laughs> I like flavorful food, so I like to prep my stuff and let okay. it marinate overnight. But anyway, so I'm prepping dinner, and, and Olivia goes to get the door because I'm like, oh, maybe it's one of the family members just dropping by because that's what we do. And, um, and it wasn't. It happened to be a neighbor who was walking by, and my sprinklers were on because it was a Thursday, and, and my sprinklers were on. And I, um, um, apparently had a broken sprinkler head somewhere because oh. the entire front walk was flooded. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm in the historic section of Harmony. And so we have the rear loading garages. I don't go out my front door like ever, you know, so I probably wouldn't have noticed it would have dried up by the time, you know, the morning sure. came. Um, but they told me, so I was able to shut the, the water off and not be suffer, you know, oh, suffer wow. a really high bill. But I thought that was really sweet. So thank you to the Caro family, um, Dawn and her husband, Caesar. Very sweet couple. Absolutely adore them. Um, so thank you guys for letting us know about that. 
that's that's really good that's really good yeah and so um what's another story you have so this one came from the wright family and they live over in Cordgrass, and um, while they were building their home, um, they had been coming in every weekend to watch the home, to check out on, check the house, make sure everything was going good with building. And one weekend they came, there was a card on the kitchen island in their unfinished home that was an invitation to a friends giving, like a Thanksgiving event given by friends. They hadn't even moved in, and they were already being invited. So they came. They said the kids were running around. It was wonderful. It was great to be part of a community that we hadn't even moved into yet. That's awesome. And I feel like that's a recurring thing. You know, there's like the Middlebrook Misfits and the Feathergrass Finest and the Inner Circle or like, you know, Pond Pine Beargrass. Like that's a big, there's a bunch of like each street has their little, their little community. And it's Mm -hmm. just so incredible to welcome so many people, um, you know, to the different areas. And I just love stories like that. I think I'm, I'm most excited. Um, you know, we're building a house down in the Enclave. And so we're going to be getting in when it's brand new people too. And I just, I keep like thinking about how I'm going to start doing stuff like that. I think I'm going to start a Facebook page. Come check it out. (laughs) You should Jeff. um, Now someone else just started it. No, (laughs) I'm doing it right now before this podcast airs. Um, That's really good. But yeah, come up with some kind of, um, listen to me. You know, I think you should come up with some kind of basket. Right. (laughs) Okay, Grandma Corcoran. (laughs) That's not nice. That's awesome. Um, And so I absolutely... um, you know, just love hearing some of these stories. Um, I think one of the other things as somebody mentioned here was, um, they absolutely love having a front porch on schoolhouse, mm-hmm. which listen, that's probably one of my favorite things about harmony in general is the, the beautiful front porches. It's definitely a front porch community. Um, but having a front porch on schoolhouse where the neighbors could come and join to watch the harmony parades, um, that's gotta be a really special experience. So do you know who said that one or no? Yeah, that was Lisa and Scott McKee. Yeah. yeah. Well, they have yeah. a really beautiful front yep. porch. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and then there was one that was posted on the forum that, um, that one of the na- one, uh, one neighbor moved in from Ohio and there was a nasty th- thunderstorm and she said, well, 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 lightning struck a tree near their house and thank goodness the neighbor across the street saw it and ran, o- ran over to tell them and we, they had no idea that it happened. So, so that was kind of neat. That's really cool. Again, neighbors helping neighbors. Like I know, you know, a lot of people, you know, don't come from areas where you don't really know your neighbors. You kind of just walk into your house. And so maybe moving here is a little bit of culture shock, or maybe that's what you're coming for. Right. And that's what we're really known for, um, you know, is getting to know everybody. And I can't tell you the times that I've gone to check out the new house. And if I see anybody that doesn't look like they're working in construction, I'm like, Oh, hi, are you new here? (laughs) (laughs) Are you moving in here? Because I'm moving in here. You're going to have to start (laughs) some like community events that you have. There's not going to be any park or anything in there though. Right. I don't think so. Is there any green area though? There's by the end of the cold yeah there's kind of green space down there yeah um that'd be cool like having a party like like playing like cul-de-sac or whatever like planning a party you know like a community party um so uh the street that we lived on one year me and a couple of neighbors invited our whole street both sides of the street that was a lot of houses yeah we invited them um during christmas um just to kind of like a meet and greet and stuff like that i knew well i knew most of the neighbors that came but it was interesting to see that the neighbors didn't know each other Right. So it was interesting that only the ones that knew me came, the, the, the people that I didn't know invited anyway, they didn't come, but then I was able to connect all these different neighbors. Right. And then we've done, um, in the past, in just our, our house backs up to um, Capriar, so we just invited all the people that are in our alleyway, mm-hmm. you know, which is kind of neat. And so we did a Christmas gathering. We all had, um, we blocked off the whole road because we all lived there. It was right. just um, the back alley driveway. And then we were able to have a Christmas event and we had our garage open. We had two garage garages you know one garage uh neighbor's garage housed the food that we all brought we all brought our own alcohol it was interesting because then if you wanted another drink you just walk back to your house to get it (laughs) like you didn't even bring it with you you brought one cup and you're like i'm gonna go home get some more right you know but that was kind of neat we've done that a few years and then COVID happened and then it stopped so we haven't done that again so but that's a lot of fun yeah to know the neighbors it really is that's honestly that's one of my favorite things about harmony in general it's just Mm -hmm. how much community there is and getting to know you know your neighbors and i can't tell you how many times i've texted somebody or met message somebody and said hey do you have xyz this random thing like there was one time i asked for glitter i think and i i I asked uh andy hinman um and she was like hey no i don't have glitter but i am at the dollar tree so let me pick some up for you so it was it was great for her to you know to help us out um so we really really enjoy being here um 
so let's see what other stories do you have any more from the forum or yeah yeah so this one um this this neighbor um uh and this and I don't, I don't think they mind if I say the name, but this was um, um, Pan and Darren Yeager said um, when they were moving in, their son was riding a bike and he got lost and a very nice family let him use the phone and they watched over him until they were able to connect and find each other. Oh, that's so awesome. That was cool. That's that was really a, cool. That was, a, that was a nice, easy one. Well, I got to tell you, and I know that I'll probably get some hate for this, but that's again, one of my favorite things about Harmony, especially when my girls were younger, somebody was always watching. Right. Like there was always like a mom that was out at the playground or a mom that was out on the porch. And I'm not saying like, oh, you just like leave your kids to do whatever. But it's it does give you comfort as a mom to know, like especially if you have those, you know, kids in the late elementary, early middle school years that you can let them go and you're not going to have to worry about them because, you know, somebody's always around, you know, to, to be able to help. And they always have been, you know, whether it's a, they fell off the bike and they scraped their knee or they, you mm-hmm. know, whatever, um, mm-hmm. whatever the case may be. Um, it is nice to know that there are people around. So true. So the, this, oh, so you can read the next one. That one came from someone in the forum. So that's, that's a, a good, good story. One. We got a lot of good ones from the forums. So yeah, these are more recent one too. I yeah, love yeah, them. Yeah. Um, so another neighbor was injured in the line of duty and it left her in a wheelchair while she learned to walk again. She was in and out of the hospital for a year and members of the community would bring her and the family dinner and leave notes saying they were praying. And members of the Harmony Community Church came to visit her in the, in the hospital. So that's sweet. really... I didn't know any of that. Yeah. Right. So that's the first time I heard that story. So thank you for sharing. Yes, <laughs> that's really cool. So, but again, you know, it just kind of goes to show that it really is a community here. It's not just a nice place to live. It just, it really is all about the community. It is. So. And then we have, I think, two stories from the lake. So the lake is, uh, the lakes, of course, is South Lake and East Lake, and it's 55 and older community. And um, there was a neighbor that was having their first grandchild, and they lived in Iceland. Apparently, it's very hard to purchase items in Iceland. So the neighbors got together and gave the grandparents a baby shower to help them. And then they said it was so heartwarming to be able to surprise the grandparents and show them so much love. Oh, that's so sweet. They're like, they give me chills. I love it. I love it. It doesn't stop. It's not just like... And they're all different stories, which is They are neat. different. Yeah, which they're is kind of so neat. cool. Um, but that's awesome. And then, so the the last... Um, that's from the lakes, too. Yep, the last, the one. last one from the lakes is... Um, there was a neighbor that, as the moving truck... Now, I can tell you who this is, because I know them. Okay. So I only mention the people that I know that I, I feel like they would be okay with me <laughs> saying the name. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, other people I just said I wouldn't say the name. Um, so this is Art and Jan. Okay. Which you, I and you love know Art and Jan. Jan. <laughs> I, lo- I love Art and Jan. Yeah. If you haven't met them, I know they're snowbirds, but they're, I lo- absolutely adore them. Um, so there was a neighbor that, as the moving truck was in their driveway, came over to welcome them and gave them a copy of the calendar of events that were happening at the lakes. She introduced... Um, them to several neighbors and everyone was so welcoming in all the years they've moved from home to home that's never happened to them before they would receive phone calls to go to functions and they said that harmony is the most friendly place they have ever moved to and I think that just kind of like encapsulates that. Yeah, that was a really was great a way to end it. Yes. <laughs> and that wasn't planned. <laughs> no. So that was, I think that was well needed. I feel like everybody kind of, need, kind of needs some good stories and, and just a reminder of how awesome this place is. You yeah, know? No, it's, it, it really is. It's a great place, great community, um, just people looking out for each other, which is important. Right. It's like the same, uh, reminds me of growing up where I grew up in, in New Jersey, you know, just having a hometown that everyone knew everyone, right. including if you were in trouble, everyone knew, and then the parents <laughs> all got together to get, you know, they all agree with each other. There was no, like, I'm suing you or anything like right. that. It was like, your kid did this, and you're like, okay, my kid's in trouble. Right. You know what I mean? Not like, uh, you know, why, did you, why did Johnny do that? You know what right. I mean? Like, it was just, just you know, everyone stood together as a community of parents, and, right. and that's what it reminds me of yeah and it feels very much like that and i absolutely love it and so we'd love to hear more feel good harmony stories what's a good harmony story you have from living here i'm sure you've if you've been here for any amount of time even a couple of months i'm sure you have a good harmony story so i'd love if you would send us your harmony stories absolutely Um, we'd love to hear more yeah absolutely and then uh one last thing we kind of plugged it in the last podcast but Mm. do not forget we have a special guest coming up that's right so we have Barbara Corcoran, my sister from Shark Tank, coming on our podcast. And so we would love to ha- hear um, some of your questions that you might have. So possibly they'd be included. Yeah, absolutely. So shoot us an email. We'll put that in the um, podcast description below. And we look forward to hearing from you. Remember, you can get us on any of your podcast platforms and watch us on YouTube. So thanks for joining us.